Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me before I go on a date with my boyfriend. I'm going to be doing my hair and makeup, so let's just get right into it. So first off, I'm going to start by prepping my hair to blow dry it because I just took a shower and washed my hair. So first, I'm going to take this leave-in conditioner by Briogeo, Briogeo, and it's like a... Rosarco Milk. I don't know. It's a leave-in conditioning spray. I, I got this from Ipsy, so it just looks like this. So I'm going to spray this all over my hair. And then I'm also going to take this other thing I got from Ipsy, and it's a 10-in-1 primer. And it's by the brand Eva Nye. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. And it has argan oil and sunflowered seed oil. And it's for all hair types. It just looks like this. And it just kind of primes your hair before you put any heat to it. Or really just do anything to it, I guess. I use it sometimes just alone. Just while I'm letting my hair air dry. So, so the last thing I'm going to do. And I also got this from Ipsy. I get a lot of nice hair products from Ipsy, obviously. And it's this... Um, marula oil and it's just the hair serum and it looks like this and it's by the brand theory so i don't use a lot of this i just use it kind of like towards the ends of my hair and i just go like this and i just get this little bit and this is like enough to cover my whole ends so i don't use a lot So after putting all that in, I'm going to take my blow dryer, and it's just the Remington. I don't know, there's no specific name, it's just a Remington, and it looks like this. So I'm going to quick blow dry my hair. Okay, so once I got my hair all blow dried, I move on to my face makeup. So what I do is I just kind of put it in this very loose, low ponytail not very tight so then I don't leave like those ponytail lines you know this is just so it gets out of my face while I do my makeup so I think I'm just gonna start off with my eyes first I don't know I've, I've always done my foundation first and then my eyes but recently I've been doing my eyes first I don't know why but I've just been doing that lately oops so I'm gonna put down some tape to prime my eyes, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. I never ever used to prime my eyes. And then I saw people priming them with this and I was like, well, I got to do that. And it's the best thing I've ever done. Like seriously, it gives such an even base for your eyeshadow. And it makes the eyeshadow go on so much better. My eyeshadow always used to crease and I didn't even really realize it until now. So I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I always, always, always dampen my beauty sponge before I ever use it on my face. If it's dry, I just feel like it doesn't give the best coverage. It's not as like, because once you get it wet, it expands a lot. And it's softer and it's not as hard, so I feel like it is so much better damp but if you use it dry go for it I'm gonna set that with a elf contour palette there's like this banana shade up top it's like almost gone but I still use it <laughs> so I'm just gonna use that to um, set my eye primer by setting the primer it helps to prevent creasing in your eyeshadow and it also makes your eyeshadow stay on a lot longer. So I left a lot of my eyeshadow brushes in my boyfriend's car and I just realized that they're still in there. So I'm just gonna deal with what I have left. It's not a lot and it's not the greatest, but I'm just gonna deal with what I have. So I'm gonna take this old icing brush and it has just this fluffy brush on one side. I'm gonna go into the shade Silk Cream. And I'm gonna put this in my crease and just kind of like all over my lid. I feel like the transition doesn't really need to be in the crease. I think we just all kind of put it there. 
but it doesn't really matter. I think it can be all over the lid if you want. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with Pooter. I use this one a lot. I think it's one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go into the shade Mocha. And I'm just kind of putting these shades all in the same place. I kind of want this to be like a cat eye look. That's why I'm going along this tape. I'm going to take Central Park, which is this very, very deep brown, and it's almost like a black, but not quite. And I'm going to use this along my tape, kind of, and then along my lash line. So I'm going to take off this tape and I'm just going to blend this in a little bit more. So I'm going to take this eyeliner brush now and I'm going to take the same color and I'm just going to put this right above my lashes and I'm going to do it kind of messily because I don't want it too like precise. I just want it a little darker than what I had it because I want this to be kind of like smoked out like this and smudged out I guess. If you don't want like a super harsh eyeliner line, this is a great alternative way to do that. And then I'm just going to go and smudge that out again. So now I'm going to go into Mocha again and just kind of help deepen that up and kind of blend Central Park a little better. And then also take silk cream and just help blend out everything also. I want to keep this look pretty matte other than like the inner corner and stuff. So I'm going to leave the lid pretty bare but for the inner corner I'm going to take um, In Light. Which is the first shade in the palette. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with that. For foundation, I'm going to use the Fit Me by Maybelline. And it's in the shade 115. So I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this all in. So I totally just forgot to put a primer on before I did all my foundation. Yay. Can't believe I did that. I'm in a hurry now. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it. I don't care. Whatever. I'm going to go into my concealer. Yeah, this looks so gross without a primer. So I'm also going to take my contour stick by Hard Candy. So I'm going to set that with the same powder that I set my um, eyeshadow primer with. Or my, yeah. I'm just rubbing out the creases. So for my under eyes, I'm just going to take Pooter and put that under my lash line. And then with a more precise, smaller brush, I'm going to take Central Park. Put that pretty close to my lash line. 
So now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to take my NYX micro brow, micro brow pencil just like usual. And it's in the shade Ash Brown. So now I'm going to take my Benefit Gimme Brow just to set that. So now I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Milani foundation powder. And take the Cheek Parade palette and the shade Hula to contour, bronze, whatever. I kind of do like a mixture. I don't really do like a precise contour, like a cream contour, but I just kind of like go over it. For blush, I'm going to take a mixture of California and Dandelion. And I don't have my highlight brush because that's in my boyfriend's car, so I'm going to just take Champagne Pop on this weird brush that I used to highlight with a long time ago. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones with that. And I'm also going to take a little bit of In Light and Beam from the Jacqueline palette and highlight with that as well. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone using those colors as well. So I'm going to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. For mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash. i kind of been loving this stuff recently. So this is obviously just the um, sample size of this and I'm definitely going to get the bigger size because I love that mascara. For lips, I'm going to use the Mar Marc Jacobs lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And it's the number 216. This lipstick is so hydrating. I love it. So that is it for the face. It's pretty simple, not too much, but yet I look presentable, I guess. So for hair, I'm kind of running out of time. I actually just decided to leave it like this. It's pretty like flowy and blown out from the um, blow dryer and I kind of like it. I'm just going to take the tops of it and just kind of tease a little bit just to give it a little more volume and I think that's all I'm gonna do with it and so I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray and put that through and also I'm gonna take this not your mother's beach babe texturing sea salt spray and I'm gonna sparsely put that through this just to oh that was my face great but I put that through it very sparsely and I'm just gonna brush that through because my hair is super fine and so putting that texturizing spray in it just kind of gives it a little more volume because it's pretty flat so this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It's very simple but yet pretty for a date night. And this is the shirt I'm wearing. It's from Rue21 and it's just this crop top. It's so cute for a date. So I hope you guys like it. 
So please give it a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this look. And don't forget to subscribe so you see more of me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.